Good morning. It's Thursday the 20th of August and this morning we're going to read Psalm 50, a third of the way through the Psalms. Let's hear what Psalm 50 has to say. The Lord, the Mighty One, is God and he has spoken. He has summoned all humanity from where the sun rises to where it sets. From Mount Zion, the perfect perfection of beauty, God shines in glorious radiance. Our God approaches and he is not silent. Fire devours everything in his way. A great storm rages around him. He calls on the heavens above and the earth below to witness the judgment of his people. Bring my faithful people to me, those who made a covenant with me by giving sacrifices. Then let the heavens proclaim his justice, for God himself will be the judge. O oh, my people, listen as I speak. Here are my charges against you, O Israel. I am God. Your God, I have no complaint about your sacrifices or the burnt offerings that you constantly offer. But I do not need the bulls from your barns or the goats from your pens. For all the animals in the forest are mine. And I own the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird on the mountains and all the animals of the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you for all the world is mine and everything in it. Do I eat the meat of bulls? Do I drink the, goat, the blood of goats? Make thankfulness your sacrifice to God and keep the vows you made to the Most High. Then call on me when you're in trouble and I will rescue you. and You will give me glory. But God says to the wicked, why bother reciting my decrees and pretending to obey my covenants? For you refuse my discipline and treat my words like trash. When you see thieves, you approve of them. And you spend your time with adulterers. Your mouth is filled with wickedness and your tongue is full of lies. You sit around and slander your brother, your own mother's son. While you did all this, I remained silent and you thought I didn't care. But now I will rebuke you, listing all my charges against you. Repent, all of you who forgot me, or I will tear you apart and no one will help you. But giving thanks is a sacrifice that truly honours me. If it keeps to my, if you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. Amen. Psalm 50. It's maybe an unusual psalm if you think about um, the Old Testament and what God set up, what he instituted as his way of forgiveness to the people. God instructed Moses um, in sacrifices and how the people could say sorry for what they had done wrong. But they had forgotten the principle behind it. They had forgotten why God wanted them to do that. It was about coming and thinking about what you had done. It was recognising that you had done wrong. And it wasn't just about bringing the sacrifice, but it was a, again about attitude and about how our attitude affects so much and about having a changing attitude. God says, yeah, yeah, your sacrifices are fine, but I don't want them. I want your love. I want your trust. I want your faithfulness. I want you to follow me. You know, it says at the very end, but, but giving thanks is the sacrifice that truly honours me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. God wants us to say sorry, to mean it and to change. It's not about meaningless acts of worship. Coming to the temple and bringing a sacrifice was an act of worship. Um, it was your way of saying sorry as such. You know, and in a way, we do the same on a Sunday. We think that by coming to church, um, even though we're not doing it at the minute, but by coming to church and, and being there and singing a few songs and putting something in the offering plate, yeah, that makes us right. It doesn't. What makes us right is by seeking forgiveness and by having that right relationship and that right attitude. Acts in themselves, gestures are meaningless unless there is something behind them. Uh, that's what the book of James is all about in the New Testament. It talks about how faith without works is meaningless. And people talk about, you know, show me, your, show me faith and I'll show you my works or show me works and I'll show you faith. The two go hand in hand. You can't do one without the other. You can't simply do an act and not believe and not trust. Uh, and the same way you can't trust without your actions being affected. So whenever we have true living faith, 
that is borne out by our actions. We'll not always get the actions right. We'll, we'll quite often get them wrong. But it's the fact that we recognise that they're wrong. It's not the fact that we go, oh, I've done that, so that's all right. That's meaningless. That doesn't do anything for God. doesn't do anything for our relationship with him. Here again, those last two verses. Repent all of you who forgot me, or I will tear you apart and no one will help you. But giving thanks is the sacrifice that truly honours me. If you keep to my path, I will reveal to you the salvation of God. Take the knowledge that you have of God up here and let it go into your heart and change your heart, change your attitude. Yes, take the knowledge, the things that you learn from God's word. See what they mean, but then let God speak to you through that and let him change just change your whole attitude, your whole approach. Let them in. Break down the barriers that are in your life. Open the door and let God come in. You won't regret it. And we all put up barriers. We all have those walls where we don't let God in at times. But we need to let them down. We let him down. His spirit fills us. And we come into a closer walk with him. And we will feel more blessed. So today, may you truly know God's blessing. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for the simplicity, but the complexity of your word. Thank you again for the promises that come from it. Lord, help us to be able to understand them with our heads, but then to let you into our hearts so that you truly will have free run in our lives, that we truly would know blessing from you in every aspect of our life. So Father, we do truly ask you today to bless us and be with us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks. May you know God's blessing and God's peace. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.